Police presence at a McDonald's leading to upset employees and videos going viral, questioning how Grand Rapids police officers handled the situation. Fox 17's Julie Denmeyer spoke one on one today with the department's chief. She joins us live with more. Julie. Lauren, that video that of an arrest on September 3rd has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. I spoke with Chief Eric Payne today. He tells me that those videos don't tell the full story. Lay down! Lay down! This arrest drawing attention and controversy. Well, I'd like to provide some information, facts that actually occurred. Grand Rapids Police saying they welcome criticism. I want to make sure we're doing things correctly, so I don't discourage people to question, but do it responsibly. There are a few things the department wants the public to know about what happened here. These officers were responding to either a, a burglary in progress or one that had just occurred. The alarm at a business on 29th Street was tripped extremely close to this McDonald's. It's been timed out as within a two minute walk. Police say a witness told them they saw a teal colored backpack at the same spot where someone tried to break in. They went around and by the time they came back around, the backpack was gone. That's when the business owner called police. The large police presence because officers were responding to a burglary in process. That requires cars, a number of personnel to show up for perimeter and also to do searching. Officers then find this man at the McDonald's moments later with a teal colored backpack. And I'm not saying this person is responsible that we encountered. However, it led to us, it led to reasonable suspicion that we needed to talk to him. Payne says he was not cooperative when stopped for questioning. We do have preliminary evidence that he was not there for two hours prior to this incident. Contradictory to what's said in these videos. Well, he's been in this building for two hours. That's There's video actually supplied by McDonald's that shows him arriving two minutes after the initial call um, was made by the complainant. Next, rumors of injuries to the suspect. Payne says it wasn't at the hands of police. And they were self-inflicted. There was no force used by officers out there other than the handcuffing and um, placing him in a cruiser. And that body camera video will provide a complete picture. We will continue to do our job. And I think those officers were attempting to do their job out there that day. Again, I want to have a complete investigation done on it. And they are doing an internal affairs investigation into this incident. We are expecting that body camera video from GRPD by Monday. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.